Hi, today we're going to be looking at this uh, monitor. It's LG Flatron uh, W1934S. Um, what happens is you switch it on, picture comes on two, three seconds later, the backlight switch off, the power light stays on. If you switch it off, switch it on, picture comes back on again, and if you wait for a couple of seconds, it switches off. So the backlights are switching off. Um, either there's something wrong with the inverter board or capacitors on the inverter board or maybe one of the CCFL lamps or have a problem so we're going to take it apart find what's uh, causing that problem replace it and hopefully we'll be able to get this uh, screen back on the road okay so it doesn't have any screws on it I'm just going to slowly um, unclip this bezel around the front. When you work on the screen, make sure it's completely disconnected from the mains. Okay, so let's take it apart. So just put your fingertips in between the screen and the bezel and just pull up slowly around. And you'll feel the clips start to unclip. Okay. Okay. Just hold on to that. And this will just drop out like that. And that's how you get to your to your board. Okay, looks like this screen's been open before. Not a good sign for me. Someone's already had a go. Okay, so these pink and blue cables on the left here, these are going from your inverter board to your CCFL lamps. Okay, so there's four plugs, which means there's four lamps on the screen. Unplug those. Unplug the cable going to your buttons. Unplug the ribbon cable here. Yeah, the flex cable going to the. board that's got the the power input and the outputs to your lamps that's the board you're really interested in right now a couple of screws holding that um, just be careful because the bigger capacitors on here will still be holding a charge even though it's disconnected from the mains Okay. This bigger capacitor here, this is the one that can hold the charge. Um, what you could do is just to be sure is these are the two pins to short them out. You might get a spark, don't get a fright. Right. This one's dead. So it's okay. To discharge the board, if you just short out those two pins, just so that it doesn't bite you. Okay. As it could be holding these cables together. Okay, so 
right now we're looking at these caps here and they're all looking they're all looking very good nice and clean nothing swollen so this board is looking pretty good so um, I'm guessing just by visually inspecting this that one of the or two of the, CC, the CCFL lamps are giving a problem. What I'll do is I'll run the board with just three plugged in and the fourth one I'll add a, another CCFL lamp from another screen and see if we can get it to stay on. And that way we'll be able to isolate which uh, lamp is giving the problems. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so uh, after going through the inverter board and the capacitors, everything turned out to be 100%. What I've done is here, um, uh, you've got four lamps plugged in here. So uh, I went through one at a time. So these one, two are the original, and one of these is the original. The inside one here, what I've done, I've just plugged in a lamp from an external, from a screen of a laptop, an LCD screen. Okay, so what happens is here, if I plug that in now, okay, so now the back lights come on, okay, you can see here in the back of the screen as well, the other lights have all come on, okay, the back lights have come on, and uh, they're now staying on, alright, uh, I checked all the other lamps, no difference. So the only lamp which is giving me the giving me a problem is this one here. So what we're going to do, we have to just trace that lamp, see if we can get it out of the panel, and um, maybe it's a bad connection or a short, or maybe we'll have to actually replace that uh, that lamp. So that's going to be our next um, step. But at least we now found the problem. Okay, so uh, I got the the lamps out of the panel. And uh, as you can see, this white wire here, discolored, it's overheated, and it's broken its contact from the end here um, of the lamp. Okay, and the other one was just hanging on by a thread. So uh, that's what was causing the lamp not to work properly and causing the circuit to shut down. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to resolder that on. Uh, insulated and uh, we should be able to get it working without even replacing these lamps just uh, doing a solder job okay so uh, I finished uh, resoldering on the the cables to the lamps and I've re-insulated it there okay so let's just before we put the lamp back into the panel let's just plug it in okay let's just have a look Okay, so it's on, and it's definitely staying on. Okay. Well, that looks like a fix. Okay, so let's reassemble the panel, put the screen back together, give it a test. Okay, so uh, got the screen back together. It's been on now for a while, and. Uh, it's working perfectly. There's no flicking of the lamps, hasn't switched off, so it's uh, definitely a fix. Remember, there's always a fix. Thanks for watching.